Good morning, people. This is Mervyn Myers, your blogger from Alma Grove. And I am carrying out the wishes of my brother, Irvin Julius Emster Nemhard. And by so doing, I am escaping from the barrels that he has placed me in. Listen carefully, people. I wrote this just a few minutes ago. The barrels of discrimination. When Byron, my brother, was stricken with cancer, I thought it was ulcer. Because mom suffered with the condition, and I remember to this day, God brought mom home from work slash bush to vomit clots of blood at the side of the veranda where I was talking to Fitzroy Scott slash Grant, no, slash Mercy, I don't think I'd panic. When Byron had spoken to me about his situation of needing a loan, I'd complied, but the bank hold on to the money. I had to exercise my rights. It was an emergency in 2007. I am family orientated. Coming up to Byron's birthday, I did all the celebrations with you all. Although Byron described the symptoms, it was my brother Irvin who explained that Byron had stage 4 cancer and there was nothing to be done for him. But Byron wanted a little time to put his house in order and I promised to work with him financially. In the meantime, I made plans for mom to visit her son to make up for times they had fallen out. I made the promises and carried out his wishes to the best of my abilities, including sending him back home to be with his clans on the family land in Gaga Street. I did not attend Byron's funeral like I did not Ashton's, but I buried my brother and Irvin went to ensure my money was well spent. I was finishing my studies and that's when the allegations started at work. I was apprehensive and I did not understand why. History was repeating itself. I have a bad back from being beaten by my brother Daston when allegations were made in 1980. So I self-referred to occupational health at work. The rest is history as my life spiraled out of control. When I could no longer manage and control the chronic anxiety I was diagnosed with in 2006. I was admitted to A&E when I resigned as I felt trapped at King's where I contributed so much have the parents' letters as proof. My brother said I shoot myself in the foot. Imagine how I am to come to terms after the death of my mother that I have been abandoned and rejected by families and friends. To be 600,000 older people in the UK say they leave their homes once per week or less. My brother Irvin placed me in a barrel labelled mad. As a consequence of my fight for justice campaign after Juno Sullivan, a former mental health nurse, sanctions discrimination. Using the data in my file, I was labeled UURICA slash LE, uncooperative, unprofessional, rude, intimidating, confrontational, aggressive, lacking empathy. After I fronted Ofsted and was given a long service award. My defensive practice is on social media platforms I use to create the legacies. But Irvin Nemhard ensure he has entrapped me like Jevon, his disabled son, to spend the rest of my life slowly tortured to death. In the barrel labelled mad, like Nelson Mandela, Made a criminal, I will free myself from Irving's barrels of hate with my writing as therapy. <laughs>